Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a test on the Glow in the Dark Max 2X by Rustoleum. It's the more expensive one, but I couldn't find any videos on YouTube, so I'm making my own. And here is my test. So we're going to spray paint this part black. And I put these squares here just so uh, we can see what happens after. And this one's going to have matte clear, this one's going to have clear gloss, and this one's going to be just the control, just the, the paper from the printer. Okay, so I shook this for about a minute and I'm going to attempt to spray nice even coats. I'm going to put three in total and have two to three minutes of uh, drying in between them. Coat two. Alright, this is the last layer. So now that I finished spraying it with glow in the dark rust -oleum, I wanted to see how clear gloss and matte gloss affected it when putting the layer on top of it. Alright, so I finished spraying them with the different tests and I wanted to say that I'm not sponsored by rust -oleum. Uh, I just use their products frequently and I saw this one, it was expensive and I couldn't find any videos on YouTube on how well it worked so I was hoping to make this one for anyone else who wanted to use it. All right, so it's been about five minutes. Let's see what the results are. There you go. Actually, it does glow. The glass clear and the matte clear didn't really seem to affect it at all. They look about the same for the control. The dark, yeah, it really doesn't work too well. Let's see what it looks like from far away. So stepping away slowly. Yeah, this would not be safe to have if you were riding a bike or something. It's not very visible. It's right over there. I'm going to try charging it up for 15 minutes, see if that makes any difference. So here's the paper after 15 minutes of charging. It's pretty bright. I'm going to put it against the wall and see what it looks like from far away. Last time you couldn't even see it from this far. So this is what it looks like after 10 minutes of just waiting. The can says it's supposed to last 4 to 8 hours and it's supposed to look something like that in the picture. I don't know. So it's been 20 minutes and the little dot I made slowly starting to disappear. If you can't see the paper, here it is. Oh. While playing around with it, I've noticed it comes off very easily. From the control one at least. I don't think the one with gloss will come off. Let me show you what happened. Charging my hand. That was just from rubbing it. It comes off very easily. So it's been about an hour and 20 minutes and now it doesn't even glow at all. I'm gonna do the scratching test real quick again. Can't really see anything. Now, if I just scratch on the control or the matte black, it should take away a lot of the glow in the dark spray paint. Yeah. Very strange. In the end, 
Rosolium glow in the dark max two times stronger it didn't last as long as I expected it to last or was it as bright as I expected it to be uh, I'm not very satisfied but I'm sure if you used more than three layers it would last longer and be brighter but using more than three layers on a 10 ounce can that's co it cost $15 it seems kind of ridiculous I wouldn't use this at night to make my bike brighter it just wouldn't be bright enough all right thanks for watching let me know if you want me to test out any other products i'm probably going to try to uh, see if i can get my money back uh, anyways thanks for watching